Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 0940 hours on Thursday, February 4th, 2016. And the final coat of yellow is on for my antenna mast. I just finished putting on the final coat of yellow and then we'll we'll let this do its thing for a while. And uh, and then we'll come back and do the final coat of blue or final coat of red, and then we'll do the blue, which doesn't have any blue on it yet. But it will. Give me time. All right, so I think I fixed Bellatini's problem with the camera. He had it set in the wrong mode. Time is 12... Oh, oh I got, got tours there. It's 12.01 hours. Focus, bitch. On Thursday, January 4th, and this is where I'm at. It's had about three hours to chooch, and I think... I can start peeling stuff off now, so I'm going to set you guys down right here, and I'm going to get to work on the tube. busy morning. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I just did a Skype interview for a casting thing. 
They want to make me the next MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that shit? Didn't SNL do that already with uh, MacGruber or whatever? Yeah, but they want to do this like for real. For realsies. Yeah. Which I think is just hilarious, but... Yeah, it's a gig, and if it helps get the group out there, or build the brand, build the audience, I'm there. So what have you had going on this morning? We got the I had dude with the lift. Catholic I had Catholic tour going on right I now. I had Jesse had a thing. I got dudes now working in, with the panel saw. I need a, I got a roll of paper towel. Oh, there's one right there. I got an in, uh, one of the computer interns is sandblasting something. You know, all sorts. Yeah, he's doing a personal project thing. Yeah, uh, you know, you really wanted to clean off that motherboard real yeah, well. Yeah, I'm like that's. It's not something they do a lot of, but I'm interested. There's the tour. One of those guys is my te was my teacher, and I, I gotta go say hi. Okay, go say hi. Take the camera with you. I'm not gonna take the camera. I need the camera. Oh, that's actually a really good shot. Let's look at the right So, about 9.30 this morning, I painted the yellow. So that's dry enough. Now I'm gonna do the red. And then once that's nice and dry, I'll do the, uh, the blue stripes in between. I was wondering about that. I'm yeah, gonna... I'm gonna do blue stripes in between. I feel kind of bad because I just know uh, we're going to try our best not to, but it's going to end up getting scratched up. It's going to get scratched up, but I'm trying to give it as good of a protection as I can. Right. At least it's not going to be a rusty piece of crap with it yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't want it looking like hell because it's going to be such a prominent thing in the side of the building. I just want to make it look decent.
and I was just, normally something like this wouldn't take me this long to paint, but I've just been busy with other shit, and mm. I did this originally as just a test of like, let's see how that looks, I wasn't really sure if it's what I wanted to do, and then I saw it, I was like, okay, the yellow and red's not so bad. I wanted to do yellow instead of white, because white vanishes. Yellow is actually visible in all weather, whereas white blends in with the sky, with fog, with snow. Are you doing that, Ron? Huh? I thought you were painting the red. I'm painting the red. Shut up. I'm here to help. Shut up. I just want I just want to make sure, you know. Messed around, Batman. Turns out nobody likes you. I don't care. I really don't care. I don't do this job to be liked. You're doing a good job, Batman. My ringtone. Okay. Don't use yellow here. Take those. Uh, I need this. Cool. Sawhorses were almost their original color again. I didn't make that much I really don't care. See if there's any spots on the red. Especially right at the edges. It's looking pretty good with the red. Yeah. Red's a little easier than yellow because yeah, red's easier. Darker colored. Hi. You know it's serious painting when you spend ten times longer masking it than you do painting. Mm-hmm.
It's awfully brave of you. Stripes will happen there. Give me a pair of gloves. That's a lot more gloves than I need. They're sticking together. Why are they all sticking together? Thank you, sir. They're the gloves I usually use, which you only need them for a few seconds anyway, so. I can't fit that many fingers in that hole! You're not trying hard enough, obviously. Now I lose my fingernails. Right. Damn it! Beautiful stripes. All right, it's 12, 19 hours now. I'll let that go till after lunch, at least. And then we'll see what we do for the stripes, which will probably need to be primed and then painted because I'm going blue over the yellow. So I'll probably mask it and then just prime it and then paint it. Probably a good idea. Yeah. So. Hi. Hello. We'll be back. Rolling. All right, the time is 1530 hours straight up and I am about to enter my blue period. It's like that. It's like that. This is my blue period. Shreds on my paint. Right, my tape. It's got to be clean. Why are you schmutzing up your tape?
fucked it up. Because I know going in, this is going to be a wet peel. Mm -hmm. So leave yourself a little pull tab. Leave a little pull, fold it over onto itself. Leave a little pull tab. Grab it with your gloves. Hey. It's like you've done this once or twice. Once or twice. Once or twice. Down. Happens. Back off about an eighth. Painting moose. Yep. Make it art here. Here, shake that. It's going to be quite lovely. It's the highest tolerance antenna painting project I've ever done. And I've painted a lot of antenna towers in my life. What? There's one on, on my fridge. I usually just use the grinding disc. Grinding? Or, yeah. I've used the sander a few times myself. <laughs> but we do actually have pencil sharpeners. Just throw it in the lathe real quick. It's important that your pencil be symmetrical. And accurate. Mon crayon est large et mon crayon est jaune. My pencil is big and my pencil is yellow. Mmm. Is that what they're calling it nowadays?
You've never sharpened a pencil on a bench grinder? It's an abrasive material. It works. I see he's cheating using a drill as well though. <laughs> That's how you practice sanding is you sharpen pencils. Practice that finesse touch. That is not a bad what are idea. You talking about finesse? Yeah, it's you, so <laughs> Mr. I eat router bits. And actually if you watch the video of how they come from factories, if they come pre-sharpened, yeah, it's a sanding it's, disc. It's a sanding or a sanding belt. It's kinda cool. Yeah. You skipped one. Huh? You skipped one. Oh shit! You're right. It's all right. What would you do doing, without me? I've been used to doing one. Oh, I didn't notice it, but I just I'm used to doing one side of these. How many paint fumes have you inhaled the past few days? A little bit. Yeah. You want to draw? Paint fumes and welding fumes, we're just breathing all sorts of awesome. I think the last paint job we did that was this tedious was the tool rooms yellow and black stripes. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not putting a lot of thought into surface finish on this. Right. Like this is really rough and tumble. You just but want I want mark. to have a cool little pattern, and I want it to look decent. So. I like painting stuff. I'm good at it. But you're something. I don't know if good enough. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty fun, isn't it? That's just not very straight. <laughs> you were talking about mess. Yeah. Well, you're the damn fool that just tried to sharpen a sharpie, so, you know, hey. <laughs> you put it to, hold on, well, that's not going to focus. No, that made it worse. <laughs> he, he crunched it in the drill chuck. Crunched right? it in the drill chuck. I think that'd be a mildly entertaining lathe video to do, just sharpen a bunch of pencils in the Haas lathe. <laughs> you want to talk about crunching? So did you notice the unusual, or at least not obvious thing about the stripes? Are you uh, going to do like three they're two foot? Thumb? They're two foot <laughs> sections. <laughs> they're, they're two foot sections, but... I want to be able to use this as a reference in the future. Right. So the center isn't the two foot long. It's one edge. Okay. Because I could tell that by looking at it. You can. If you, if you stand back and look at it, they're slightly different sizes. But it's, it's the edge of the color transition that it lines up to. The yellow sections are a tad bigger than the red. I feel like we should have gone with red and white and just made this the biggest barbershop. Spiral it around. The problem is radio towers aren't actually painted red and white. It's aviation orange. Uh, and that is not a color I have in stock. It looks like a faded red, but it isn't. 
proper color, and there is an FAA spec for it, is aviation orange. Neat. And I have bathed in that shit. Neat. That explains why. Some places just use one. I'm going for a tiny, tiny bit of overlap, more with the red than the yellow, because Getting them lined up perfectly is pretty much impossible, and uh, I'd rather have it overpainted than underpainted. I saw one welding table, made me kind of tingly. It's meant one of the for acorns, huh? One of the acorns. I don't know what brand it was, but it was a. It's actually set up for doing CNC, like you'd have like a Jeff bot welding, but it, it tilts like a drafting table and it's got clamp mojo all over it. I was like, that's neat. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of shopping for welding tables. The best this, stuff this one out there a... is uh, like strong arm tools or something like that. Makes some really impressive shit. Cool. And they have really impressive price tags. I bet. The welding world is not cheap. No. And if you're buying cheap, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I'm not. For, for what I'm looking at, we're not getting cheap stuff. I'm going to get a new helmet this month. Like, legit for cereal. amount of welding that we're getting into. That's why I was like, it's going to be worth just to get a nice helmet. Found one on Super Duper Sale. It's normally like a $400 helmet for $200. I was like, okay. You ordered it? Not yet. because it has a bigger view window.
They all just have that hint of green happening on. Ed's got a green stripe on his jacket. <laughs> Neat and it's neon green. That's the fun part. Anyway. Making art. Yes. This is my blue period. Oh, he's excited to help hang this mask. You can see it. 20 foot, quarter inch thick wall steel pole in the middle of February while it's snowing like hell on a roof. You've lived long enough. <laughs> so, what else is different? Huh? So, what else is different? It's always like that. Yeah, I say we just did your stupid ham whip in same shitty weather. So what'd you come up with for a uh, light? I got two of them chilling. Okay. On arms? Yep. Cool. They're same length. Their uh, their lenses are intact, or their caps, whatever you want to call them. Um, though they probably want a little bit of a paint job. Red or yellow? Right. Well, well, they're they're originally they're originally kind of that that cat yellow, that construction yellow is what their original color is, that kind of orangey. Okay. But it's, it's peeling a bit, so you might want to... Hey, Cliff. Yes, sir. Come on over here. Smush all the tape down. Make sure it's all smushed down appropriately. All right. Like just start at that end, work your way. Oh, it's it's sitting on the workbench. Yeah, they're, they should be doing cable. It's sitting just right on the workbench. Gotcha. And where would be a six foot ladder? I don't know. <laughs> Those are All you. Right. Should people doing stuff? Well, just point the camera. I was pointing at you. You were doing stuff. All right, here. All right. I want to start welding. You can't weld. You got to do the paint. I got to paint it. I have to, you, you know, you what, oh paint and welding. I got to get right. a good fuel of explosive gases. Right. Before you start making sparks. Right. Where did I just see? I saw a six foot ladder in, uh, in uh, member supply. Oh. Really? I've done that a million you, times. You've done fucked it up, mate. <laughs> Don't point it at you yourself while you're doing that. Oh yeah, that one's fine. Oh, there's a six foot ladder. Glad I could help. The eight foot's still on the roof, because lazy. Oh, that looks much better. This might be the heaviest masking to paint time ratio I've ever done. I don't know, we've draped entire rooms and... Because if you take into consideration the, the, the paint sprayer and the room masking, I think that that always wins. I'm putting this on crazy thick so it's going to run a little bit. Ta -da. See if I missed any spots. <laughs> Top looks good. Okay, that's our stripes. Darn drive forever. 
Last coat went on 1552 hours. Wow, I spent 20 minutes just masking. <laughs> Alright, now you can weld. Come on. Batman welding, take one. <laughs> That sounds nice. Batman is not happy with his weld. Oh, it's tack welding. Tack. That's a lot smaller than it was when I saw it the last time. What? That these were the long pieces that went down? No. That's these. Oh, this is just a little shelf. Yeah. Okay, those are a lot shorter than they were last time too. Yeah, I said they were only gonna hold one bolt. Oh, okay. You got the big hilt, those big hilty bolts. Okay, it's good. Should be all. Easy. It's all in sheer anyway, so yeah, right. it's it's good. It's good. Those are precious, aren't they? Little Harbor Freight Special. I tell you what, they do the job though. They hold it in place. Can't ask much more. And they say Pittsburgh, which I didn't know that was a city in China, but okay. <clears throat> I was just thinking, Pittsburgh, ain't a person in the factory that was made to pronounce that properly, because it's got R's in it. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. What's wrong with that one? It's the $40 Harbor Freight Special. Oh, okay. The knob keeps adjusting itself, which isn't good because the lighting, the light is setting on this is way too light, lets in too much. Which then, you know, it starts burning and hurting. What? Nothing. Check this thing out. Okay. I'm going to jump these. Come down and check out the shelves. I got chip. Okay. They're colorful. Yeah, he's got them all colored too. Are yeah. we all caught up on member cards? Yeah. Every single one I need is yes. printed. Okay. I know. Thank God, we need them. I need like it's, it's half a dozen. We need half a dozen little roll around welding curtains on on like T bar rolly stands. They, they sell them. In oh yeah. Going the right way. Because we could use them for welding and painting and just oh my God. Batman, what? I'm a fucking genius. What? 
I know how to make the perfect welding helmet that never needs any adjustment. Completely opaque, solid helmet. Okay. On the front, you put a camera with a lens protector. On the inside, you put the screen, because I watch you weld through this all the time, and I use the camera to block the actual welding arc, and I can watch it on the screen just fine. The thing is, though, is you can't, with that bright, you still have to have a dip. Because you have to be able to actually, with the no. light on, you can see the puddle. No! You can't see because the puddle. Because with, with this, can this see? can't make enough bright light to hurt your eyes. It's so not it doesn't that. need you to You have dip. to be able to see the puddle. With the helmet on, I can actually see the puddle on for me. If I'm just watching through your camera, you can't see the puddle. Alright, well, I'm going to get in on this. And say, I'm, my problem is you spatter so much that I can't get really close, but let me see what I can see. Nice. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just blue. Yeah, I can't. I yeah. can't actually see it. It's just. It just goes pure white. It's dim enough. I can see my puddle unforming and watch it actually being made. Okay. That's that's the whole point. Of it. Besides, you know, your eyes not melting out of your face. Hey, Batman. Can you can you move your little cart over here away from the giant box of paper and try it? I, I can't think of why, but just yeah, I'm kooky like that. You put me on such a I need longer corner. <laughs> right on the corner here. Right. Plus there's the hose over there. That's nice. I'm getting more of the feel for this welder as well. So I'm probably going to become like a super expert with it, and that's when we'll get upgrades. You gotta, really you gotta complain. do all up in here. Yeah, I will. Okay. Okay. Damn fine bead, Batman. It's really easy when it's flat. Much, much, much more good stuff.
Ha? What are you doing? Taping my knob in place. Goes all the way up to 11. That's about your MIG level. 13 would be more TIG. Between 12 13 is TIG. 9 is Oxy and... Do you always use this yeah. in the same spot? Um, for the MIG welder, yeah, pretty much. Well, why not, like, just glue it in place? Because I know as soon as I do that, I'm going to have to do some other welding or something. Oh, okay. I'm just going to buy a new helmet that isn't a piece of shit. Alternatively, you could open that up and pack it with, like, Vaseline. That might have There's a lot, in the electronics world, there's a lot of stuff that's packed with, it's, it's, I don't know if it's Vaseline or just a silicone compound, it's probably a silicone compound, and I have some, um, that never hardens, and they use it on expensive audio gear to put a better feel on the knobs. Nice. So for those of you just tuning in, what we're making is, this is a little shelf, this is the, the shelf part, this is the wall part, and this will bolt to the wall, and the end of the tube will sit on it, so that, because that, it keeps the tube from sliding in its mounts, because the tubes actually elevate about three feet up off the roof, and it's mounted in three spots down here. There'll, there'll be a mount about two feet up, one in the middle, and one about two feet down from there. So there'll be three big U-bolts holding this to the side of the roof, but I'm concerned about it sliding at all, so just as a safety precaution, we're welding up Batman's shelf here, and the bottom of the tube will rest on the shelf. And I will paint the shelf blue. Sounds like a lovely idea. Well, it goes nice with the yellow pipe. Right. Nice. That's so cool. Oh yeah, the, the kind of, that's how you know you're getting really good penetration. It's, it's, if you're not getting that, and that's how you can also tell if you're too hot, because if you're going through that, okay. it's a little too hot. So you can very easily burn a hole right through this. Alrighty. That'd be a shelf. You gonna do the sides here? You want me to? Doesn't really need it. Then not, not with those two giant welds there. I think you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Now dunk it in an oil bath to temper it. <laughs> yeah. So next thing we do is we just let it cool for a while. Yeah. All right. Do you want to try and lay a bead? I haven't seen you lay a bead. Everyone, I don't know. I, everyone I, always tries. I don't know how to weld. And a little practice You've seen me training. solder, right? No, I actually have. Really. Now, when I was when I was a little kid, and I was about ten, I got gravel eye oh, watching my dad weld. I never touched a welder in my life. I, I got just, it. I was scared of it as a kid, and as I grew up, I just never had the opportunity really to need to weld. I, I, I was about 18, 19, I was watching my buddy. He was TIG weld or MIG welding, and I had grabbed an oxy settling mask, and that's when I learned the difference. <laughs> yeah. The, the darknesses because at about 12 o'clock at night it didn't feel good to close my eyes yeah I was I it was, was like it was okay if they were wide open but as soon as you blinked it felt like yeah. you scratch oh. no my uh, my dad was working in the shop late one night and I snuck down and watched just like peeking around the corner mm -hmm. and he didn't know I was there oh, and okay. I got I got a pretty bad burn from it and that that scared me a welders like just 
all being a kid. And then when I grew up, I just never had the need for it. Like, I yeah, never got, I got a Batman. So yeah, I got a Batman. I just, I never, I've just, I've never had need to weld. Boom. It's a skill I should pick up one of these days, though. Okay. Right now, I'm working on magic tricks. Hey, this is probably cheached enough that we can peel it. Probably. All right. Here, I'll hand that to you. You got gloves? Uh, in the tool room. Mm -hmm. All right. In we go again. Here I go again on my own. I'm down here on the bottom, not up in the moon. Oh, no, I am. Don't really care. It's pissing off everyone at home. I made up my mind. I think that's two. All right. Anyway. Casey actually sings. I know, I know. He sings so much. I'm waiting than to I. get some kind of response from the peanut gallery over there. What the bun? Tell me what that is. No. Huh? I okay. Casey actually has a degree in music theory. Or music education. What what is it? Music education you went he, to school he's, for? He's got a degree in music like you got a degree in physics. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I went to school and I did Oh, okay. Did you enroll? Yeah. Got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about the equivalent of, I don't know, a month at, at a real school. Here comes the sexy reveal. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, God oh, damn. Yeah. Indiana University Music Education Program where if you don't pass eight semesters of music theory, you don't pass at all. Really? Yeah. That's hardcore. Do we have green or gray? If we have green or gray, it's bad. That is beautiful. A little bit of bleed, but I can live with that. It's going to be 30 feet in the air. Who cares? Yeah, no, nobody's ever going to see it. Except, you know, that, us. That hummingbird. A thousand we'll people like. on the internet. <laughs> You're being judged so hard right now. Always being judged so hard. Oh, my God, you got bleeding. Well, I'm a globby, guys. Oh. I just, fuck it. Fuck it. Sand it down. We're starting over. <laughs> we're in a new piece of pipe, I think. I just, this one's got too much paint on it. All right. We're, <laughs> we're out of our stipend. $140 piece of pipe. You better fucking like it, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of pipe's going to get a lot of use. And not just for the FPV stuff. We, we have... A solid antenna tower. Well, having a roof cam at that angle would be pretty yeah, cool, too. Being able to just go... major new roof cam set Just look up and down Leonard. And it isn't just any roof cam. This roof cam is going to feed directly into the CCC, so I can use it for the morning shows. And, like, when we want to do weather or stuff like that... Or, you know, the, right the, the monthly heart attack at Burger King up the road, or... The... the bi-monthly robbery at the Shell Station. No, the You'll church, be able to see the it. The church across the street, man. It's a pretty regular occurrence on Sunday morning. Some some grandma gets the fever. And <laughs> the church fever. And yeah. checks out. The band! We gotta get the band back together! <laughs> the only prescription for cowbell. Oh, those, those are both SNL that references. Looks I guess that so works. So nice. Where was I at the discoveries Well, like <laughs> the the Croc Center, the gym I used to go to, had, their their pool had the fabric oh, okay. ductwork, and they had it red, yellow, blue. <laughs> it just I like bright colors. Yeah. I like if, if you're gonna. No Not in salt. It's just it's just very. Very bright and happy. It is bright and happy. I'm a bright and happy guy. <laughs> sure, we'll say that. Me too. I'm a ray of fucking sunshine! Mm -hmm. 
shine, Jesus shine. Okay, he's doing REM and you're doing Andrew Lloyd Webber and you're freaking me out. Bake overnight, and I'll paint the other thing, which is just a solid color, so I can paint that in a day. And if we do that in a high voltage lab, let it bake on. Mm -hmm. We can mount this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And if you mm -hmm. think putting the pole up is gonna suck, wait until we have to do the camera. Because we have to actually hang shit on this, but that that's not good. that looks cool. I like it. It doesn't require sitting there with a 200 piece of metal above my head going, all right, you're done yet? Well, with the shelf, that's going to make yeah, it yeah, sure. so much easier. Because you set the shelf up, you hang the shelf, you put this in, you put the top anchor in first, and you're set. The rest of it's easy. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Time is 18.04 hours. Ed did a thing with a little help from... I finished a thing. You finished a thing. So Start it goes the all the way to the pilot light. To there. Notches and cutouts, goes around the, the fence, everything. It's damn sexy, sir. Hang on. Are you happy now? I'm hungry now. I'm gonna go get food for game night. Go get food for game night. <laughs> High voltage live looks great. And then there's Paul. Nobody really knows. Nobody's really sure. Hey, Batman! Who's over here? I know. Box. Did you get the box? Can I see the box? Can I see the box? Let's go check it out. Come on. Can you get back with the box? Hey, sir. Got a whole herd of people hanging out. This is just a staff. This isn't even a game night crowd yet. We need more. We need more people doing more stuff for getting things done. Where's the box? Now? Do you see the box? Can you see Batman's box? Where's Batman's box? It's sitting on the uh, sours. Oh. Okay. Uh, Look at that pipe. I gotta clean and paint your thing. And I got you more acetone and alcohol. Oh, cool. So I can clean and paint the thing. You sure that's the right box? It's got three quarter inch screw in. We'll have it's to uh, come up with some sort of mounting. You got a you got a problem there, Batman. It's got it's got caps. That's you hear that. That's not the problem, Batman. That's the problem. It's only got three holes. Okay. And one of those holes in the unless we can mm. Did you get a close nipple? If you got a close nipple, we're set. Am I going through the pipe? Yeah, because we could just drill a hole, close nipple that bitch right there, turn it 90 degrees, and the things go out the sides. What? Can't get into the pipe to tighten the close nipple. You have to have the fitting on the other side. You can't drill a hole in that? You'd have to drill a big hole to get a wrench in there. I'm angry. Why you, why you got to be causing problems? Why do you got to be like that? I got, this is what happens when you keep like adding weird things on out of order. Okay, well you got order, order you got free. you got two options. We either close nipple the box to the pipe, which would be okay, mm -hmm. or you get a box that has enough holes in it so that we can run a conduit down. Yeah. Fuck. I was like, yeah, it's got three quarter inch holes. All right. Kendall in the morning? Probably. Okay. Yeah, ten bucks. Huh? It's only ten bucks. Well, you want to put the it. cable for the camera down on a conduit? That would be fun with the connectors already on it. Well, power conduit has to be separate from your communications conduit anyway. Yeah. So we got to have power to power the cameras, to power the lights, to power everything. Well, the power, be... to power the PTZ camera is embedded in the umbilical. Okay. okay right. All right, but we're we're gonna need power for stuff out here. 
Well, yeah, um, you're gonna have to power the the receiver. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. It's not gonna need a lot, but I'm gonna run just a circuit of 120 up, and then we'll divvy it out. But I, we've got two cameras, the receiver antenna set up, lights. We need power out on the thing, and this is gonna be the mount. Probably not this one. I'm gonna have you get a round one, a round red dot box. Same kind of box, but a round one. And I those saw have those. They only had half. Though the, this was at Home Depot. Front of Kendall, they might have different options. You know, we can run half-inch conduit out to hold the things because it's rigid, half-inch rigid, and it's not going to be. It doesn't need to be that long, and we can use a reducer. Okay, if that's what you want, that's fine too. Because we don't need it. To, we don't need it to stick out like three feet. We we can come out just stick boop, out like just like foot on either side. Yeah, just a foot out either yeah, side would be can, fine, and it's just one little light, so it's good. I'll be back. Ross Allen is the newest dude to get on my Patreon, and I want to thank you, sir, for being a part of this and helping out because it matters. Oh my God, the Patreon helps. So thank you for being a part of that. I am now heading off to dinner. It is 18:35 hours, and I'll be back. Hi there, boys and girls. All right, it's 20:27 20, hours. Time to play with alcohol. Acetone. Play with acetone. So this is Batman's little shelf, which is now cool. I'm back from dinner. That's on there really damn tight. Improvise a depth and over. Alright, so we're gonna clean off the schmoo from the little shell thing. Safety first. This is all bare steel and sharp edges and made of angry. Clean all the shit off it. That's actually covered in grease. Batman, you dick. It ain't gotta be pretty, but it does have to not rust. So if I'm going to go to trouble cleaning it, painting it, and all that, I might as well make it pretty. That's not bad. Of course, all the outside pieces are relatively clean. The inside's all fluxed up. Get it? Because welding. I love the aroma. He leaves all these little bird poop beads everywhere. They snag on the thing. There's a good wipe down. If we find any spots that paint doesn't stick worth it, we'll just grind it. Ha! Uh, our table broke up. It's only 8.30. You guys are just getting locked up. Go home while I can still drive safely. Oh, alright.
Captain Batman, come in, Batman. I don't suppose anybody knows where the little painting triangle things are. That'll do. 20, 33 hours. I'll give it an hour to dry. And then I'll see if it needs another coat or not. Hey, that's what I need. We didn't know how many to do. Don't know that I need any. What I do need, because what I was going to do is set that out, and I realized I can flip it over, and it's got right angles on the bottom, so it sits on points. So it just kind of does its own thing. What I need is to let it just sit and dry for two hours, and then I'll mess with it. But what I'm going to do tonight is we'll take that and that sheet of cardboard there, and we'll put that in high voltage right under the thing, the last amount of it, and it'll bake out really good by morning. Okay. That's my plan. For now, I'm just going to let it work for a bit. as heavy as the Ayatollah. Okay, right here, right here. 
we go over here. And we get the temperature in here from 62. Because it's unoccupied. You're occupied. I'm here. How do I tell you that you're occupied? I know! I can't do it on my phone. Shit. There's a thing. I gotta go on the website and tell the thing that's occupied hours. It's programmed that this room isn't occupied. And it's programmed to take the heat down to 60 degrees at night, damn it. All right. We'll be back.